my body image, I, I lacked a bit of confidence. And then when I got into rugby, they, they really appreciated my size and my strength. The great thing about rugby is this, there's always a place for somebody. The most capped England rugby player of all time has competed at four Rugby World Cup tournaments and won one of them, which meant invites to Wimbledon's Royal Box and things like a Lady Gaga concert and, you know, just the full experience. This player also has an MBE, seven Grand Slams and in total 137 caps. Rocky Clark has retired from international rugby, but she's still playing for Saracens. And I'm here in St Albans north of London to ask her why. So I, I was always sporty at school and I wanted to be a, a PE teacher and absolutely loved playing any sport I could. So I got the opportunity at 15, a friend said to me, we come down, we're really short, play rugby. And I was like, well, no way I'll get injured. And she said, please, we're really short. And I was like, oh, okay, went along two training sessions, absolutely loved it. Then I played my first game, had no idea what was going on, but just threw myself into it and, and had the best time and found a sport that was great for me. You know, my, my body image, I, I lacked a bit of confidence. And then when I got into rugby, they, they really appreciated my size and my strength. And, you know, I was, they all looked up to me to go and do the crash balls. And the great thing about rugby is it's a, a game for all shapes and sizes. So there's always a place for somebody. It's interesting that you've always wanted to teach slash coach eventually. Um, is that, what is it about that that you enjoy so much? I think just giving back to people that are, are, are trying something new or, or learning different, different strategies, different things. And I, I just get such a buzz out of teaching somebody something and then them implementing it and then just seeing the, the light buzz on their face, they're, they're lit up when they do something like I've taught them how to tackle or something, they put a really good tackle in and you can just see like that lifts them, gives them the confidence and one of the biggest things about rugby I think is is giving back to the game to for players to develop not only on the pitch but also their self-esteem and enjoying you know their body image and getting out and being sociable and rugby teaches you so much of like teamwork, respect, all that kind of stuff and I'm, I'm just really passionate about helping people achieve what, what their potential is. It's interesting that you mentioned body image. Um, the Rocky that first made her debut for England, <laughs> and you already know where I'm going. Yes, I do, yeah. 2003 Rocky. Yeah. What was she like? She was a big girl, uh, larger than life in, in many ways, but um, she was a fun character, um, always mucking about. But yeah, I was, I was definitely overweight and unfit and I just got my opportunity. England took a punt on me and, and took me to, uh, to Canada in the Churchill Cup and never looked back since. And then I got fit, got the passion, got the motivation, got myself uh, fit for rugby, lost some weight. And, you know, I've always celebrated my size, um, but I'm in, a, I'm in a better way now than I was in terms of like, Yes, I'm heavy, but I'm heavy in a good way, not in a sort of useless weight carrying around. Yeah, because you lost, what, 25 kilograms? Yeah. That obviously required a lot of determination and work. To some people, that sounds painful. Yeah. Was it? Yes. <laughs> but, I, it, you know, it was all worth it. I'd had the carrot dangled, I'd got my first cap, and I knew I wanted to be there regularly. And so, it, for me, it was about trying to be the best version of me with the education and the tools and the backing to, to be able to achieve that. And by having that support, I was, I was able to achieve my dreams and get my third cap, fourth, fifth, and then so on. And how important is that for you, for people to see women with real, very normal bodies? I feel like when I watch women's rugby, it's the only time in the week I see a normal woman on TV. Yeah, it's amazing. And like I said, the game is for all shapes and sizes and, and you're celebrated if you're big or you're tall or you're small and nippy and you, or you have footwork or you're speedy. Like or it's you have big thighs. Thighs, yeah. Like you're celebrated to have big, chunky thighs. And that's amazing. That's hard to tackle. And, you know, when I get told, oh, you've, you look big, I'm like, great. It, you know, it's a compliment for me. Brilliant. You look hench. Fabulous. That's what I want to look. I don't want to look skinny. I don't want to be filtered. I want to, you know, the real Rocky is here. You have played in four Rugby World Cups. You have won one of them as well, as you say. 
And you got some pretty big perks after winning that World Cup. What's what's in it for you when you win a, a Rugby World Cup as a player? What's life like? Yeah, I tell you what, it was it was amazing. The, just the buzz coming off of it. I I literally had my medal on me for a week, wore it around my neck, and every every opportunity I had to go and celebrate and have a have have time out with my friends and and all my different groups of people. It, it was fab and. We got to go to a Lady Gaga concert, Celine Dion, uh, Wimbledon. It was so cool. And, you know, when, um, when the girls next win the World Cup, it will probably be 20 times even bigger than what we had it. And it was amazing. And you can see how my face lights up. I, it was the best day of my life winning that. The performance didn't matter today. The victory did. And there it is. England are world champions. What is it you wish you knew in 2018 when you announced your retirement from international rugby? What is it you've learned in the time since? I think um, I, I wish I'd been kinder to myself because it's only now when you're on the other side of it, you realize like how hard retiring is. And for me, before retiring, I, I didn't understand maybe why some of the girls didn't come and watch the England games. So I thought, that's, that's odd. Why are you not supporting your, your friends? You know, we've gone through loads together. But now I understand why it is so hard to go and, and watch your, your old team. And you want to be there. You want to be a part of it. And and it does take a few years. And I'm probably still in that transition because I'm still in the Sarri setup as well. That I still get that bit of that buzz from, from, from representing. Um, but it is so hard. You, you lose your purpose. And... I wish I'd been kinder to myself and that understanding that it's okay, you are gonna have tough days and it, it is gonna be really hard and we need to find another focus. And maybe I wish that I'd found a few other alternatives, like rug rugby wasn't everything. Mm -hmm. That's what I would have taught myself in a mm -hmm. previous life, yeah. What is it about coaching that you keep learning as a player that you can apply? Uh, I'd say one of the biggest things is how to handle a player and know what what makes a player tick and personally I think that's one of my points of differences that I, I can tune into players do they need you know arm around the shoulder or do they need to be told you know very honestly like that's not good enough and I need this from you and to have that empathy and understanding what they're going through as well and I know about their life off of the pitch and mm. and know your players is is absolutely key and and then you can put them in an environment that they can thrive and and be themselves and you know sometimes some days they're going to have off days some days they're going to have amazing days and you know you just want to try and draw out those more amazing days and put them in the in the right environment to achieve that that rewarding part that's what i live for being able to get players to to have that confidence to to learn something have that you know, light bulb moment that's the bit that i thrive off of and, uh, and being able to get those to go through and and enjoy themselves and be the best they can be that's amazing <laughs> <laughs>